Are you an event planner, manager, or organizer? Then you are a superhero. That's right, I said it. You're a superhero. You are. And just like Batman needs his Robin, you need a sidekick too. But what could be your sidekick for an event planner? Easy. It's an event management software or event management platform tool. So why don't you have one? Or maybe you do and you're looking for an easier alternative. Then you need to check out Paperform's new tool. The event management software template just released by Paperform is innovative and exciting. You can customize it to better portray your business or your event. So sign up for an account and don't worry, they provide a 14 free day trial. No credit card details are needed. God's end. How cool is that? So you and me today, we're gonna run through the event management software and take a look at how we can personalize and customize it to better suit your event. Let's go. I'm in paper forms template page. Personally, I'm gonna use the charity run registration form template, but feel free to use any of the templates you like. The process is still going to be somewhat the same and maybe, just maybe, you found something that stands out more for you. All we need to do from our template page is click use this template and it's automatically going to create a copy of that form within our paper form account. Now let's jump in and take a look at how we can customize this to suit you. We can see we've got a logo at the heading. What is this? Fun run for charity. That's a cause I could get behind. It's just an image. So to remove an image or a place, we simply click on it and we'll see the option bar appear above. If you want to remove it, click that X icon. And if you want to replace it with an image of your own, simply click that picture icon. From this option bar, we too can set the positioning as well as the appearance and even hyperlink our image. To resize, simply grab that bottom right corner and drag, then drop. All right, we've taken a look at images. So now we want to take a look at the text. We can treat text within our form template much like we would a Word doc. Simply click in the correlating space and begin typing. Do, do, do. But maybe you want to edit the text that is already here. Highlight that and just like with our image option bar, you'll see the text option bar appear above. From here, you can change the appearance, the positioning, again hyperlink, and you can also include numbers or bullet points. Let's take a look at our question fields now. This is a multiple choice question field. So if we would like to change the title of the question field, we simply click on the correlating text there. The question field description can be added by clicking on the add some help text placeholder. And if you'd like to change the type of question it is, easy peasy, click on the drop down menu you see there and you'll see a list of paper forms 20 plus question field type options. Now we also have the ability to duplicate a question field, change the placement and remove. What does this gear icon do? Clicking that, we enter the configuration for our question field. This being a multiple choice, if we'd like to add more options for the multiple choice, we scroll down here and we can do so as we please by clicking in that box. Currently, we have three options for this dummy template. The little fun run, 5Ks. The big fun run, 15Ks, and the color run. I can't show you how many Ks that is. <laughs> All right, so we've got those three options. Let's memorize that. Now we're gonna take a look at breaks, specifically section breaks. You might have noticed a red line laying below here. What is that? Well, that's a section break. If we enter the configuration for our section break, we're gonna see something special. We see we've included visibility logic. Now I'll explain that in a second. But what we've got here is the question, which event are you joining, which was our little fun run, big fun run, color run. And then when the answer is little fun run, what's occurring is anything below this section break is going to become visible. So let's say, for example, I'm the front end, I'm the submitter, I'm the attendee and I'm registrating. If I select little fun run as the event I'm joining, then this section will be triggered to become visible. If I select something else or I haven't selected anything at all, then it's gonna remain hidden. And we'll see this too with two following section breaks. We've got the little fun run section break, then we've got the big fun run, and if we enter the configuration for that, we're gonna see the same visibility logic set up, 
Which event are you joining is the big fun run, 15 Ks. And then we've also got the color run. So if we jump in the configuration, it should be, and it is set to only become visible if a submitter or attendee selects that they want to join the color run event. Okay, we've quickly taken a look at the question fields, at the text, the content, and now our breaks. If we take a look further down, we can see we've included some other question fields, just simply asking for our runner's details. It's all straightforward. A date, an email, and a phone number field are also included in that. Now that we've taken a look at the basics, let's take a look at how you can jazz up your form. So, we're gonna to scroll to the very, very top, and we're gonna click on that color water drop icon. Boom. Here we open the theme settings, and this is where we can change the color, the font, the look and feel of our form, the look and feel of our buttons, and if you'd like to, you can also set translations by clicking here. If you'd like your form to appear in another language, there you go. Paper form has made it extremely easy for you to do so. Let's jump out of theme settings and take a look at what else we need to do. We're gonna jump into configure, details, and from here we can set our form title, a description, include a cover image, and this is where we're gonna customize our URL. Right there, boom, done. We're not done with the form though yet. From here, we're gonna to go to payments, and this is where you add a payment gateway, either Stripe, Square, PayPal, or Braintree. Follow the prompts by clicking Manage All Payment Accounts. Next, you also have the ability to look at analytics and reporting, and the form behavior. This is where we can get into the nitty gritty. So, I'm gonna skip that and move on to the automatic after submission email. When someone registers for your event, you wanna shoot them a very quick confirmation email. How can we do this? Well, from after submission emails, we're gonna click add email. Now, we wanna ensure that we're sending the email to the email address of the person that registered. How? Look at this. On the right hand side of your to field, you will see an icon. Click upon that, and that's gonna bring up some question fields. We're gonna select the email address question field, and now what is occurring? Every time someone registers, it's gonna capture their response to the email address question field and shoot that email straight into their inbox. You can relax and then focus on those rigorous other tasks. You will also wanna include a subject and then a body. Once again, you can use answer piping within the body of your email by clicking on the answer icon and selecting one of those questions there. To make your email more personal, simply use their first name. Hi. Once again, the system's gonna capture their response to that first name question field and jot it straight in there. Let that relationship between you and your attendees blossom. Once you're done, simply click add email and voila, simple and easy. Now, we also wanna take a look at success pages and redirects. As we can see, we've got our default success page here. Submission successful, thanks, we have received your submission. All well and good, but I just want you to know that you have a lot more power. Let's scroll down to dynamic success pages and redirects. Here, we're gonna to toggle that on. And if we add a page, much like we did with adding an email, we'll see the options we have appear. We can redirect by enabling the redirect to another URL. And we even have the ability to choose how long it takes before the submitter is redirected. Tell me that's not magic. From here, you have the ability to change, add images, and again, pipe answers into your success page. I'm gonna leave it as it is for the moment, but feel free to dabble in and play with that dynamic success page as much as you want. From here, we're now going to take a look at something a bit more exciting. What's that, might you ask? It's integrations and webhooks. What are those? Well, integrations allow you to connect your form or your event management software with other secondary platforms, such as customer relationship management tools, Google Sheets, Google Docs, the list is endless. Paperform offers a vast amount of direct integrations, not to mention over a thousand integrations through Zapier, Integram app, and if you're a web developer, have a go playing around with those webhooks. So, I'm just gonna show you the process, and it's simple and it's easy, of connecting your software or your form 
with MailChimp. MailChimp is a front runner for customer relationship management tools. Let's say in the future you wanna run a sale or you wanna run a targeted marketing campaign. Using an integration to connect your form with a MailChimp account means that you're gonna hold all that data of your attendees, emails, name, and any time that you wanna run your targeted marketing campaign, then you can just quickly send it into all of your emails within your database. How easy? Very easy, I answered that for you. So, from after submissions, we're gonna click integrations and webhooks, and then we're gonna click on the logo MailChimp. We're gonna select add subscriber to a list. From here, you'll be prompted to add your MailChimp account. Once again, don't stress, if you don't have a MailChimp account, just simply sign up for their free plan. Trust me, you will not regret it. Then, you'll select the list that you want your attendees to move into. Mine personally is paper form test, I'm not sure what yours is. And then from there, we're gonna use once again that method of answer piping by clicking the icon and selecting the correlating question field. I'm just gonna select email address for now. You select as you will. I'm gonna move down and then you wanna click send test to ensure that the connection is there. But please take note, you will have to run a test submission so that your form has data to run the test with. If you haven't submitted the form at all, then if we click submit test, it's gonna fail. There's no data for us to push through. So once you've done that and you've run a test, simply click finish setup and voila. Now, every time somebody registers for your event, somebody submits your form, that data is gonna be captured from the form and sent straight over to your MailChimp account. Power in your hands. There you go. Now, there's not much else to share with you. If you wanted to connect a payment gateway, we've covered that. If you want to jazz up your software, we've covered that too. Integrations, superpower features. It looks like it's time for you to finalize your form and send it out there. From here, if you'd ever like to look at the live view of your form, simply click on the eye icon. It's looking pretty. So thank you for sitting with me and taking a look at how you can customize Paperform's event management software to suit you. Happy form making, and if you ever need help, just simply reach out to our support team. You can do so by emailing support at paperform.co or anytime you're on our platform, you'll see that little widget in the bottom right corner. Click that and we'll be more than happy to help you. Peace.